world's first clinical trial for a new type of cancer therapy is certainly something to celebrate. How incredible is it to think that a virus from a Brazilian sand fly can be used to help a disease in humans? What we see here today is the potential of possibilities. It represents, again, 15, the culmination of 15 years of work to try to engineer a virus, a biological agent that can sense the difference between tumor cells and normal cells. And this is key because currently we all know that cancer hides. It hides amongst our normal healthy cells. It hides from our immune response. These oncolytic viruses are agents that have been tailor-made to be able to reveal this cancer, to be able to kill this cancer directly, but also harness the power of the immune response and direct it back against the cancer. And, and this virus was manufactured here in Ottawa, uh, actually in this floor, and uh, is made it, uh, to pharmaceutical grade so it can be injected into patients. And that's what Derek's using in this trial. In my opinion, uh, the people who participate in clinical trials are heroes. And they're heroes because these are often people who have serious illnesses, sometimes incurable illnesses, and yet they're willing to, to try this experimental treatment. They're willing to partner with us as physicians and scientists uh, to try and find a breakthrough, to try and uh, find something not just for themselves, but for other people in the future as well. But when I was asked to participate in this event, I said yes, because I think it is important that people are aware of the great work that's being done in cancer research in Canada and the need to do even more. I'm very glad that I had the opportunity to participate in this trial because I know that it may contribute to better therapies that could help other people, including possible my children and grandchildren someday.